uh, I've been involved in the energy sector for more than 12 years. Uh, have been part of uh, around five uh, entrepreneurial uh, projects, uh, some of them very successful. Uh, and one year ago, more than a year ago, uh, I met uh, an investment banker in Bogota. Uh, he's from Canada. Uh, I was planning to go public with an oil and gas company. Uh, basically, he told me that uh, the raising money was very, very hard, very tough. Uh, for, for that kind for, for that industry in that moment, uh, he mentioned the cannabis industry. So I started to research uh, about what's going on in the Colombian uh, scenario and the international markets, and I found uh, that this it would be a very interesting uh, industry. Uh, basically, I met uh, a company uh, called Blueberries. Uh, this company. Uh, was doing cultivation of uh, blueberries in Colombia. Uh, they were one of the pioneers in the cultivation of blueberries because in Colombia we don't uh, cultivate uh, blueberries. So they, they did it successfully. I did a partnership with them uh, just to, to bring some agriculture uh, experience, agriculture expertise uh, uh, to go public in a, in a project with cannabis. So we did apply uh, for all the licenses for cultivation on psychoactive and psychoactive cannabis. Also, uh, we have the, the license to export and transform uh, cannabis products. Uh, so it was, I was one of the founders in the Canadian entity. So I became the CEO of Blueberries Medical. Yeah, the Bogota Savannah is the place that, that you want to be. Uh, it's very close to the International Airport of Bogota. Uh, it's very close to the capital of, of, of Colombia, that is, is, is Bogota. So the infrastructure is good. Uh, we have uh, the, the major center of production of cut flowers in that region. The Bogota Savannah is the main production. Uh, there, are, there is the main production of cut flowers in Colombia. Uh, probably, as you know, Colombia is the second exporter of, of uh, cut flowers in, in, in the world. Uh, so we have plenty of expertise in, agricultural, in the agricultural area. We have uh, several benefits from uh, being in this area. Uh, it probably it is considered the safest uh, region in Colombia. So that's why we want to be in, in that region. Uh, no, not now. Uh, basically, we have two properties right now in the Bogota Savannah. Uh, with these properties, allow us to scale our production capacity. We acquired 15 hectares uh, in one property, in one property, but this farm has 82 hectares in total. So we have plenty of space if we want to scale our project. So uh, for now, we want to do more acquisitions in, in, in the Bogota Savannah. We can do this project as, as big as we want. Uh, so we we're going to have uh, world-class facilities uh, in this region of Colombia. Yeah, uh, Latin America has a lot of advantages, uh, especially the countries uh, in the Ecuadorian side of, of South America. Uh, we have uh, plenty of advantages in the, for, for, because of the climate conditions. Yeah, we have 12 uh, hours light, 12 hours of darkness. That's exactly what the cannabis uh, plant requires to grow properly. Uh, so uh, because of the low uh, electricity costs, low uh, water costs and labor costs, we are able to achieve uh, the lowest cost possible in the industry. Uh, a part of that, uh, there are some countries that are growing every year uh, in terms of consumption, uh, especially Brazil, uh, Argentina, and Colombia. Uh, once we start replicating the message, uh, teaching the medical community how uh, to use the, cannab the medical cannabis, uh, so the market will grow faster and faster every day. Uh, yeah, sure. As I mentioned before, uh, Colombia and Latin America has a lot of advantages. In Colombia, we're developing some projects. Uh, if the first project that we are developing, uh, the, it is a very strategic project, is to is with a medical society, with a medical community. So basically, uh, our project includes uh, the education of a uh, medical community, the education of doctors, the education to patients of how to access. Uh, to uh, cannabis medical products. That's uh, our, our first phase. 
Uh, the, the other plan that we have is to increase our production capacity in Colombia, but we want to move to another country also. So there are a good some, some opportunities in other countries such as Peru uh, and Argentina, especially in north of Argentina, uh, that have uh, the perfect climate conditions also to grow cannabis. And there is uh, Brazil, Brazil has more than 200 in a million inhabitants, so that allows us to have a, a huge market in the region. Uh, actually, uh, we believe uh, that the combined expertise between the two companies allow us to, uh, to generate a competitive advantage in the market. Uh, as, uh, we, we, we believe that uh, the first mover advantage in Latin America will allow us to, to go to the market and uh, uh, differentiate ourselves from the competition. So basically, we're going to be one of the first companies that are developing a, a formula to produce a, a beverage, a beer with cannabis uh, in, all the, in all the continents. Yeah, this is a, a very important milestone for Blueberries Medical. Uh, when we go to the Frankfurt uh, Stock Exchange and the OTC markets, uh, that allowed us to, to increase our shareholder base. So there, there will be like a more uh, shareholders and more investors that would be interested in our project, in our project. So uh, that would be something very strategic to increase our, our, our base uh, of the awareness of uh, many potential investors that are looking the cannabis industry. Of course, uh, our company has a huge upside. You know, we uh, we won public on, on February, so we have been more than than a month. Uh, this, on the uh, Canadian Securities Exchange, uh, but we are sure that the, our, the upside of our company is one of the biggest uh, in the industry. And with the all opportunities that we are developing right now, we're going to be one of the leading companies uh, internationally.